Hello everybody. Today we'll be solving a problem in microprocessors. It goes as follows. Decode these address ranges using a decoder And the necessary logic gates. The addresses are as follows ten eight zero 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 to ten eight. Ten eight seven FF. We got ten eight ten to ten eight FFF, and then you get ten nine. So one hundred nine thousand to one hundred nine seven FF. We have ten nine eight hundred to ten nine FFF, and you get ten A zero 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 to ten A seven FF, and you get ten A. Eight hundred to ten A FFF, and you have ten B zero 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 to ten B seven FF, and finally ten B eight hundred to ten B FFF. So now we have our address ranges, and we need to design a decoder. To access these addresses properly, and uh, so it's a specific decoder that is required to do this task. As we know, dec decoders are very useful in uh, microprocessors, especially in memory accessing. So, in this case, the first step we can do is try to recognize. Because uh, the decoder works with binary numbers, we have to see uh, what kind of binary values these ranges, uh, these address ranges, carry. So first, we, we transform these into binary numbers. Each one of them, and these are all hex numbers and hex numbers. So uh, each of these value carry four bits so the one here so they're going to be pretty big values so the the one here would be zero 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 one the zero is four zeros and then the eight you'll have one zero 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 and then the of course, the zeros you have four zeros, and then more zeros. So we we keep them dots because it's all zeros after this. And besides, we can have a bunch of zeros here, so we keep them all zeros. So this was the one. This was the zero. This was the eight. And then this is the zero here. So I'm just writing these ones to save space and then or time. So the other ones are similar. It's 
better to align them when you work with these kind of problems. So I got the one, I got the zeros, I got the eight. And I get another eight. And all the zeros, obviously. And we're supposed to do this as well, so we do that. And here we have F star repeating, so they're just ones in binary. So we do the same. So from this to this, you get 0001, then you get 0000, and then the 8 is 1000, and you get the 7, which is obviously 011. One, and then all ones after that. And then for this case, it's the same 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, and then 1, 0, 0, 0 for the 8, and F, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So we, we, we see patterns here that are repeating some of them, and obviously these patterns will mean something to the inputs of the decoder whether it's in, you're going to be using it in the uh, enable or just the direct input or decoder so if we keep proceeding here instead of writing the ones and zero we just know it's the same one and the zeros are here and then the one and the zeros are here so what we'll change here is the nine to nine and you get seven which is zero one 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 and everything else is a one after that same thing here you have uh, not one and a zero and then a nine and then and then zero So we keep proceeding that way. You have a 1 and a 0, and this time there's a 9. Maybe I write the 9. We have an 8. And then you get here a 0, I mean a 1, and a 0, and a 9, and then a 9. And you keep going. Okay, you have the zero, 1 and a 0 and an A and zeros. And all zeros after that. And here you have a 1 and a 0 and an A and a 7. And then here you have a 1, 0, A, 8. And you have a 1. 0, A, F. And here again a 1 and a B. B is uh, basically 11, which means you have 8 plus 2 plus 1, which is that value for 11, and then a 0. Here again it's a 1. 0, B, 7, and then 1s, which I'm not showing here. If we continue with the last one, you have a 1, 0, B, 8, and then all zeros after that, and you have a 1, 0, B, and you have all Fs. So now we have hopefully it's clear the binary values now we're going to be using these binary values to map our decoders uh, or the decoder we'll be using first we have to identify the, f the numbers that are fixed and the numbers that are changing in all possible uh, combinations what we do notice here i'll use blue here for the fixed ones we can easily notice that 1, 0, 
here, this one and a zero and then the one zero here they're always the same so it's an observation that we need to, to be able to do when solving these kinds of problems now that we see that these values are not changing then we're going to have some sort of circuitry that are fixed uh, and that circuit is going to be connected to the decoder and it's going to obviously be the enable because we know that the decoder has an enable uh, selection pin just as it has other inputs the same thing we do with the with the uh, the other part of the range and we see again we have one and a zero and one zero they're repeated it's not perfectly aligned but i hope you understand the idea behind this so now these are fixed so because they're fixed I'm, I'm actually using only these data values in my decoder anything uh, that any binary value that's different from this is not going to be used in our decoder selection so basically these values will be in our enable decoder so we can carry on and draw the decoder here And the size of the decoder you can tell from the number of ranges. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you have eight outputs. And that all the way to eight or oh, seven, because we start at zero. So six, seven. Maybe I'll just draw it better. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So these are my outputs to this decoder. Seven outputs. You can call them ABC to H. And and uh, you you'd require obviously three inputs to create that eight outputs. So you have A, B, C, or from here, ABC. Now, what we need, because we're working with microprocessors and uh, addressing, and this ABC should connect to one of the uh, address lines, A1 to A24, the 24 address address lines that are that are used in this example for the 68,000 microprocessor. So we have to uh, come up with these. With this answer, and obviously, you have the enable button here. I can use a different color, let's say purple, enable pin. And this enable pin should have a circuitry that aligns with these fixed values. Now, obviously, you can see a bunch of zeros and ones, and there are two ones actually, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven zeros. Now, the zeros would need. Like if this is enable high, the zeros actually have to be inverted and they will need an OR gate to join these. So so basically I, the, the, the zeros here that are not shown, the address, it starts with address line 1 and then they all go to address line 24. So each bit represents an address node. Now here I'm not showing all of these but this is 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, and 19. Oh, sorry, these are not bits. So you have 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. So you have 15 of these bits of these address lines are going to be connected to the enable. Uh, 
up to from 24 to 15 you'll have these so which the bits that are zeros here which are 24 23 22 20 I skip 20 21 here because it's a 1 then you get 19 and then 18 and then 17 and then 15 these are all going to be connected to an OR gate so A15 then A17 all the way to A20 then you have A22 all the way to A24 these are all going to be connected to a NOR gate and so that it will be connected to enable but if we can directly connect to enable here and do the rest but it's better to, to connect the output to this to the AND gate that will be needed for the ones the fixed ones and there's two of them and if you see if you count it it falls in the rim the ones that are missing here which is A16 and A21 so now these are the this is the circuitry the logic circuit that you need to save into your to uh, to use into your enable so that enables only on when these apply so whenever you have these address lines equal to 0 and these address lines equal to a 1 you'll, you have enabled 1 that's the only case that you will have enabled one, which is high, which means it enabled on. Similarly, we do with the remaining address lines here. We need to know what these address lines are connected to. We've used up 24 all the way to, to A16. So from A24 to A16, they were used up for the enable. So now we, we carry on with the remaining ones. So we have A. You can use a different color for this one. So we have A14, A15, A13, and then A12. Now we know we need three address lines, so let's see if these are mapped directly to, to the ABC. And by directly, it means it's as easy as saying, because these address lines in a decoder, obviously, if it's all zeros, the first line is going to be selected. It's a zero zero one. This line's get, this line. This output's going to be selected, and if it's zero one zero, the output C will be selected, and so on. Hence, we we can actually see that you do not need to add any circuitry to create that mapping here. You have zero one two three four five six seven. Same thing applies in this side. Zero one two three. Four, five, six, seven. So now we have a direct, we can see that we have a direct mapping from your address lines A14 to A12 to your input, a direct mapping, no circuitry is needed. So these, these address lines will be connected to your ABC inputs of your decoder to choose your outputs. What's remaining here at the in the final stage here? These final steps here, it's all zeros as you can see. And all ones here. It just shows that it goes all ranges, all zeros and all ones. So all possible combinations can work. Hence you do not need any circuitry here because there's nothing specific or it's not restricted to a specific address or combination hence they're not going to be included in the circuitry in other words to answer the question decode these address ranges using a decoder and the necessary logic gates you will only need to do this circuit as you can see that's the answer to it obviously the enable can be done a little differently instead of using an AND gate here you could have A16 and A21 A, uh, Basically, if you just invert them, 
and put the inputs to the NOR gate that we're using just like this one which have the other addresses 115 and missing ones obviously with one all the way to one, A24 so from A15 to A24 with some with A16 and A21 missing here and used up here and this one will go to the enable so th there's different ways to do the enable circuitry however what's important here to remember from this exercise is that is that the fixed values here, the, the restriction, and uh, these are the fixed values, the fixed bits that we have to use in our circuitry here. And because it's the fixed one, we use it for the enable, which means the decoder is only useful, or it's only used when these values are are exactly the same as you see here, and if, and uh, which which means the circuitry. And these three bits here were used as your input uh, to the decoder, and they are mapped to A14, A13, A12, as obviously because we're going from A24 all the way to A1, and then from A12 and beyond, they are values that are not uh, specific. Hence, it goes from all zeros to all ones, so all possible combinations can be used. Hence, there's no need for any connections for these ones. Hope this helps and good luck on your on your final exam.